Hey gear junkies. So you voted and here it is, the how to care for your Merino video. Um, it's coming before the Gore-Tex care video, um, which is a lot more complicated because there's so many different types of Gore-Tex and also just different types of waterproofing um, methods out there, I guess you could call it. Anyways, here's my tea. I really need it, it's cold today. Um, but today we're talking about Merino. A little bit about it because you know how much I, of a nerd I am about like fabrics and gear and technology and stuff like that but we're also going to talk about how to care for it because guaranteed some of you have been doing it wrong unless you're all amazing which I'm sure you are and you read labels and in that case I love you so I am not a big fan of synthetic base layers say what you want about it I'm just not a big fan you can wear whatever you want I mean some hunters and fishermen they swear by Under Armour. I'm not a big fan. And really, why do you need camo base layers? Are you going out in just your base layers? It's unlikely. <laughs> I'm such a bitch about it, but like it's so it's just so easy to make fun of you guys sometimes. Um, <clears throat> other options. Fleece. Probably like the first thing I was wearing as a base layer. Um, yeah, warm, breathable. Not always. Depends on your body. If you find that fleece works well for you because you're generally a cold person, go for it. If it works for you, it works for you. But what works for me is merino. And I'm talking 100% merino. We're not talking about any blends. We're not talking about any cotton. If you're wearing cotton as a base layer, honey, we got to talk. Bad, bad, bad move. Ill-advised. Do not recommend. But that's a different conversation. We're talking about Merino today. Now I'm going to look at my notes because there's just so much to talk about when it comes to Merino. And I get so excited about it because I've had such a good experience with it and I love it. And there, it, it's just, it's an investment and you really should take care of it properly. So let's talk about it. I, I call it God's gift to outdoors people. Merino sheep are hilarious. Funny facts about Merino sheep that I found out last night as I was reading. They say that 8% of male merino sheep are gay. Someone out there is studying the relationships of merino sheep. I would love to be their friend. Just saying. So if you find a study about merino sheep and their relationships and gay merino sheep, please send it my way because that's right up my alley and I'm a weirdo like that. Another thing, <clears throat> merino sheep can see 360 degrees around them. Come on, they're like, they're like stealth. They're tactical. Merino sheep are tactical. They don't even have to take shelter when it's raining. You know why? Because they produce lanolin. I love it. Anyways, what were we talking about? How to care for your merino. Well, merino is very special and it is probably the best moisture wicking material that you can put next to your skin. It is incredibly porous. So if you look under a microscope, merino wool looks like a coil with like little holes in it, like porous structure. Um, it kind of reminds me of like, if you get DNA, if you know what DNA looks like, and you coil it even tighter and then put little rivets into it, that's what merino kind of looks like. So why is that useful? The coil structure just lends to its elasticity and strength. Stretch it abuse it, it's still going to go right back to its original form. The porous structure just kind of demonstrates that it naturally sort of creates air pockets, which allows air to flow through, which helps with its dry wicking for sure. So Merino, it is lightweight. It is soft, super soft. A lot of people think, wool, ooh, itchy, not Merino. Different, different, different. Okay. So don't, don't, don't false advertise about Merino. I will take offense. Rude. Um, it manages moisture like we talked about with its natural air pockets. Um, it is antibacterial, antifungal, um, odor resistant. That's huge if you're wearing the same pair for like a whole trip or expedition. Um, uh, wrinkle resistant, which like, I don't really care if it's wrinkle resistant, really. Like I, that's not a big thing for me. And it's organic and renewable. So that's pretty awesome. Can't say that about Columbia Omni Heat, can ya? So I don't want this video to be super long. I don't think you guys are going to pay attention long enough. So let's just go through it. Merino wool 
this is how you should take care of it. One, don't wash it often. You don't have to. It's naturally built so that it'll go a pretty long time, do its job well, and you don't need to cleanse it or wash it, whatever you want to say. Um, but when it's time and you want to wash your merino, wash it with other merino. Um, and I've heard that you can wash it with denim as long as the denim isn't dyed or acid washed, which makes sense because you don't really want to introduce that kind of stuff to it. But when you do, you can use normal cycle on your washer. This is assuming you're using a washer. Um, you, you can use normal cycle because you need enough rinse cycles to get it clean. If you use the delicate cycle, I don't think it'll rinse enough to get the detergent out of it. So just use normal cycle. You can use warm water or cold water. I use cold water for everything because I'm trying to be like, you know, energy efficient and like responsible that way. Cause you know, I'm growing up now. So it's what we do. Um, also, I'm cheap, so, you know. <laughs> um, another thing is when you're using detergent, you can use Woolite, which is like the um, gentle, delicate detergent. Um, you can use normal detergent as long as it doesn't have fabric softeners built in. It's not a good, not a good thing to use fabric softener with your merino. So do not do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, guys. Okay. You can also buy... Um, Merino detergent, wool detergent from Nick Wax on Amazon, wherever you buy your Nick Wax. Um, trying to think here. Oh, you can hand wash, but when you do, this is what you're going to do. In your sink or your tub, fill it with warm water, put your Merino in, add your detergent, do your little hand what do you call that spin cycle <laughs> do your do, just like you know swish it around clean it up leave it for 15 to 20 minutes then rinse it out really well problem with hand washing and why i use my washer over hand washing my merino is because you you're not supposed to wring out your merino your washer will spin your clothing your your items and it'll kind of get rid of the excess water hand washing you're not supposed to wring it, like I said, so it makes it really difficult. So whether you use a washer or you hand wash, you cannot put your merino in the dryer. I repeat, do not put your merino in the dryer. I don't care if you air dry it in like, you know, there's like an air dry cycle. Don't do that. Don't do delicate low heat. Don't do, just don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. Um, line dry hang it put it down on a towel just don't put it in the dryer you will make me cry really you'll get holes in it it will be pilling just reno is an investment guys it is don't don't mess with it just let it line dry okay i'm okay i'll be okay as for you if you don't own merino yet and you're looking into it and you are Canadian and you go to Costco. Costco has this really good line of merino every once in a while. It's not always there. It's 100% merino made in Canada segments and they're supplied by Woolmark, which is a big deal in the wool world right now. You can look them up. Um, I love this stuff. It's super affordable. This long sleeve V-neck shirt was $19.99. Um, the equivalent shirt by Icebreaker or, oh my god, I almost fell, Icebreaker, it would be like triple that minimum. So I do really like this and I love that it's made in Canada because represent, but yeah, you can go Smart Wool, you can go Icebreaker. The care is the same, but I will say something. When you're buying Merino, socks especially, it might say Merino on the package, but look at the actual fabric. Um, it might say Merino blend, 75% Merino. I don't love that. I really like to make sure it's 100%. It'll last forever. So even if you're spending a little bit more, that one purchase, you're going to have this stuff forever. That's my two cents. Love you, gear junkies. Hope this helps.